Hello everyone, welcome to the new tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Custom Force in Pyro. Here I already created some of the model which I have downloaded from the Mixamo.com. It is for free, you can also download. So here we can see the character with the bow. And we are going to create a Custom Force from the bow to the character right hand. The pulling hand. So let's start. First of all, I have to convert this one. This is now in Alembic or some other format. It's in pack format. So I have to convert it first to the polygon. Then you can select one of the polygon from the hand and just blast it and delete none selected. You can check this is a single polygon overhand and you can name it uh, hand centroid hand centroid no, make it no. and second I have to take this bow so for this bow, I'm going to double click this one. Same method, blast it. And beware of this one. Yeah. Here we can go, bow. Null. Delete none selected. Yeah. So here we have bow. And here we have our single polygon hand. Let's check. Okay, now next step is to scatter some of the points on this. So here we can scatter not thousand, at least hundred. Yeah, not you can also take fifty as per convenience. So for this tutorial, I'm gonna take hundred of points. So same, you have to copy for the bow and remember one thing, you have to take both the scatter points same. So for this, I have to copy this one parameter and paste relative reference on the second scatter. So whatever the point you are given in this scatter, it will change automatically over here. Okay. So now we have to write one script i id so id equal to i at pd now. So by this we are gonna create a id attribute to all the pt nums point numbers over here. Simply same copy and paste for the both. Now merge it. And now I'm going to add this one, add it, go to the polygon and the attributes then by the by group and here you can select by attribute and what is our attribute? Our attribute is id, see. Now it become one lines from the bow to this character hand. You can, it's also animated. See, nice. So these are the line to whom we are going to create the custom force. So the next step is to create a resample for this lines see uh, create one more yeah simply resample it we'll give one then we'll go for the poly poly frame for creating normals for this curves you can go to 
you can off the normals here you can go to tangent name tangent name to n normals and you can check normals and all normals direction towards the hand so this is correct if your normal is suppose suppose if your normal is coming in opposite direction so don't worry about that just simply you can write a script that v at n equal to minus 1 sorry into equal to minus 1 so it will go to the opposite direction see how it's it's go to the opposite direction. same so for my case it is coming in the right direction my whole force should be come from the bow to the hand so it is on right direction so now what i'm going to do is i'm create one attribute triangle and for four force purpose i'm going to add one channel like force we can increase or decrease the normal value and then this normal I'm going to convert this normal into velocity simply Here we can one. one is for now one is okay for now let's test scatter it again Uh, this time a little bit more yeah off the normal yes and then you can use volume rasterize attribute so what happened with volume rasterize attribute so these points are converted into volumes so what is the attribute over here we have a velocity so I have to convert the velocity into volumes then uh, you can check it's not visible in the viewport sometimes and sometimes visible don't worry about that this bounding box is enough for us and now if you want to visualize properly you can go to the volume trail and you can what is a first input is point to trail so this one is a point velocity volume so this one is a volume you can click see this is our volume visualization this is our force actual force red to blue yeah so it's working fine add null that's enough and type it out custom force yep so it yeah this is for the custom force ha huh. now i'm going to create the emitter pyro emitter this is the this is for the custom force right this we are using this one as a custom force but we are not still not creating our pyro emitter to emit smoke okay so i'm gonna show you to create a pyro emitter over here so now we are done with the custom force you can name it or just now we have to create the pyro emitter so here we go add one subdivide because we have to give turbulence noise on this uh, make it uh, 3 yeah three and take rest position to conserve the rest position and we can use frame number 
40. Just delete camera 40. So this is our static one. Okay, so without camera, this is our static frame 40. To conserve the rest value at frame number 40, I have to take this one. And now we can add attribute warp to make to create noise. Uh, noise. We name it noise. Now bind. I have to bind our call our rest value and it should be yeah three four factor and here turbulence noise. I'm gonna make one room over here. Yeah, turbulence noise. Then create one fit. connect to CD and I'm gonna change some of the value from the fit 2.14 to 2.5 yep it shows something over here then export all the values outside of the this swap outside of this swap then I should do one case little reference space to left reference yeah make it a little bit more frequencies yeah 10 is enough for a uh, for now See, this value is not even, <coughs> even though it is on the animation mode, but the noise value is not changing as per the animation. Why? Because we are taking the rest position. If I'm not taking any rest position, if I'm directly taking this one from the position, see our animation, see our noise is moving as per the animation so that's why I create the rest value to conserve the rest position okay yeah this is so now my motive is to dissolve this noise as per time so I'm gonna take one another fit value and connect this one to the turbulence again fit 2 and this time to destination minimum and here I'm gonna give you the, give the multiply value promote the parameter export export as a dissolve value you can name it whatever you want so for me it's this value and for fit we have to change some of the value we'll check later let's let's check first what is output so we are gonna add this fit to this fit and then connect to the cd got it let's see so for dissolve value we are going to give the value to negative like negative two something let's see so you can see now the noise is there and as per the time the noise gone yeah 
you can if you decrease the value like minus 1 so it will take more time to dissolve so 1.5 let's see yeah 1.5 is good value it is all automatically yeah so again I have to go to scatter scatter on CD and increase some of the value like 50,000 no relax point randomize point check how it work it dissolve automatically yeah so now I have to delete delete one delete node and then here by expression here points now at CD less than 0 0.1 so the points which are on the black color will delete and which are on the white should remain here and fade out normally and I'm gonna add the point you can check see point is all yeah cool No. For time saving purpose, instead of creating pyro, swords, attribute, noise, rest rise, so for time saving purpose, what I'm going to do is create a pyro configure, configure below smoke. Yeah. Just create this one. Yeah, delete spear and just attach everything below this one. This is the time saving method for me. And if you think you uh, to learn more about the pyro, you can go node by node. You can study what these values are doing, what volume scatter is, what keep input is, what is surface scatter, everything. Or I'm gonna show you in another tutorial detailed tutorial about the pyro otherwise so for now for the time saving i'm gonna add directly these nodes from the presets so we have to take keep input because we already have our scatter points and all so we have to change something to keep input so this will what keep our input and particle surface particle separation sorry for particle separation for now we'll go for the lowest values let's copy reference this one lowest value if we have a density we have a temperature that's it we need and for the attribute noise uh, temperature and density is already calling and multiplicative uh, remap noise to zero mm, yes create minus one not minimum minus one to one means it will create a negative value means negative and one in between is all and you can change the element size if you want you can click on this one this map google map mode like node and then these are the element size you can go decrease it or increase it as per your model so 0.3 is good value for me 0.25 okay 0.25 this one is for pulse value 1 yeah and post process minimum to zero that's it and here for rasterization 
we are using density temperature yeah that's it we created our emitter and now it's chance for uh, chance to do something in pyro solver voxel size to 0 0.1 for now okay so right click on this for creating a custom force just copy this out node what we have created as you remember this thing so I'm gonna show you first what happened without custom force uh, I'm gonna on the template mode for you guys yeah here's a template mode So your pyro is going upward without any velocity it's just act as a buoyancy and temperature and this is not what we want what we want is to the whole pyro will come towards this character hand so copy this node this out node copy it and we have to do is right click and allow editing control content allow it unlock this one then go inside uh, you can disable the dynamic for now and go inside and here we go here we have this is by volume source So we have to create another one like volume source node and merge both of this and merge this one. Okay, this is our for custom force and for this off you just paste the path this path what I have pick from here I have to paste this path here and just change to sync to again from smoke so this will create automa automatically your things delete density delete temperature just keep velocity over here enable the dynamic and for the in the low res gonna check see everything is pulling towards this character now it's look like it's too much so just go inside this one you can decrease the value to 0 0.1 plate now resolution is very low that's why it's look like this uh, will little bit increase the value instead of going again and again inside I'm gonna create one parameter for the velocity outside here so I'm going to go to edit uh, parameter interface go for the float value uh, outside it is an okay and label it as a force apply exit here's on that last step so what we are going to do is to copy this one paste relative reference so we can change from here we no need to go again and again inside
is working fine now it's time to change some of the parameter and four five hundred is enough gravity do we need gravity no need no need of flame dissipation disturbance turbulence dissipation should be increased and 0 0.65 Let's increase the minimum sub steps. Yeah, it's time to check up. I'm gonna increase little bit of the resolution and will back after the play blast. Here we go. Here is the output. Probably this one is the play blast. After render, you are you're gonna see the beauty of this one. So, main motive is to show you how custom forces work in Pyro. Eighteen point five, and how to do some custom force, create some custom force like this. Some tips and tricks. If I'm going to merge this with the main character here. And create another play blast. If you think this tutorial have, helps you and makes some sense. So please subscribe and click li like and I'll come with again with another interesting tutorial, simple and basic. So, thank you for now. Thanks, everyone.